Hey guys, this is Sia bringing you another video. So welcome back to Unranked Diamond, the series that I take a Smurf account, fresh account, never played ranked before, and show you the adventure to Diamond. So welcome back to the series. We rejoined the series, Gold 2, 26 LP, and this is now patch point six or patch 6.9. So it is the mid-season patch. A lot has changed, um, which is even going to take me a while to digest it all. Uh, but I'm looking forward to it. I like when change happens. Uh, it brightens up the game a little bit and um, reignites, I guess, kind of interest in the game for a lot of people because you know the game kind of, kind of, you know becomes monotonous and boring and repetitive. And whenever a big patch like this goes out, everybody's like, "Whoa, there's changes!" You know. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to it. What am I going to play though? Uh, I will admit. Uh, before recording, I put just £20 worth of RP on my account. Uh, I haven't updated down below in a while, but now I've bought... Uh, basically, I think I bought three or four of the updated mages. So I got Vladimir, I got... I can't even remember. Brand. And I got... I know I definitely got one more. Um, who did I get? Oh, Viger. Ban... Viger. Just get rid of that thing. He is OP. Uh, Viger is going to be the strongest champion in this patch. The reason for it is his passive has been changed. Uh, they didn't ban Viger. Okay. Um, the, basically, Viger's passive to get a bonus AP, if you remember, uh, it used to be um, that every single time you hit a last hit a minion, you got bonus AP. Now it's every single time that you just hit an enemy champion. Just hit them. That's it. I don't know why they're doing that. But anyway, we're going to play an updated champion. So we're going to play Vladimir. I want to play the new updated champions. And that's why I'm going to give you a warning. Of the next couple weeks of Unranked Diamond. Expect quite a lot of mid games or mage games. Because yeah, I want to play all the updated mages. Uh, in this series eventually. So should be fun. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Anyway. Bam, 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 bam. And then get rid of them. I don't know who I'll be against, and I don't know how good the new Vladimir is. The reason for picking him, basically, is he's the only mid... or only updated mage that can really go top lane. I guess Kennen, I guess, Swain. So okay, there's a couple, but I haven't played Vladimir yet in the series. We get the Viger, which is good. I'm happy about that. Um, hopefully, we will see... Um, how OP he is in this game. <clears throat> so, yeah. And then jungle. It'll be good if we get an AD jungler. Because we have an AP carry support. An AP carry top lane. And an AP carry mid. So an AD jungler would be good. And then obviously a hyper AD carry. As our vein in the AD carry slot is also really good. They have quite a lot of AOE already. They've got a Mumu and Zyra. Obviously Zyra also has been updated. Okay, I'm against a Vyasuo. Let's go with I'm a kill you with AP. So Vladimir, uh, what I'm going to do differently, uh, usually I don't have anything on this screen while I'm playing the game, but I am going to have the patch notes on this screen, uh, the one I'm literally looking at. I'm going to have the patch notes up just for myself, uh, just to make sure exactly I know what's going on. Because um, it's you get, I think you get more bonus health to ability power so the more the more health you get the more ap you get which means riley's is even a better item now on vladimir q's gone on a lower cooldown early but later not some people like the thing is some people say like this could potentially could be a nerf to vladimir it could be we're gonna kind of see uh but anyway uh those are all the uh locked in champions uh without much further ado let's get into today's game Okay, welcome to the loading screen. This is where I use LOL Skilled on it to break down today's game. Now, our team has a 52.6% chance to win. Uh, let's go through. We have a gold 1 Yasuo, a platinum 3 Ari, a gold 5 Amumu, a platinum 4 Lucian, and an unranked Zyra. I presume there's some, you know, pre-made going on here uh, to get these ranks in this MMR. Uh, on my team, we have a platinum 5 Zerith, a gold 2 Vladimir as myself, a gold 1 Lee Sin, a platinum 4 Vayne, and a platinum Five Viger. So yeah, I do think there could be some pre-mades going on, but let's get into today's game. 
Okay, before we get into today's episode, just thought I'd mention it is sponsored by willowflare.com. It's a website that is linked in the description, uh, but what it is, is they want you to go play video games, which includes computer games and mobile games, and give feedback on them. Pretty simple. The feedback that you give will earn you points and rewards, which includes Riot points. That's actually why I took the deal, because hey, you guys want skins, you want new champions, Go do some of these surveys, go play some video games, and get free skins. Like, it's a pretty good deal to me. Uh, so thank you once again, Willow Flare, for sponsoring today's video. Anyway, Vladimir, new update. Uh, let's move everybody around just to begin with. I've got the Doran's shield versus the Yasuo. Um, straight away, it's interesting also that Ari has gone teleport. I don't know why you'd go teleport on an Ari, uh, honestly. Um... She's a, an aggressive champion, obviously, that tries to get 1v1 kills. Maybe she's not confident in the matchup. If this guy, he's not played Viga before, but he should beat an Ari if he's just at all okay at the game. Because one stun, the Ari's dead. Uh, again, his ultimate, Viga's ultimate now, is even an execute. Yeah, I, I don't know what Riot were thinking, but um, anyway... Let's help this dude out. So Vladimir, he hasn't really changed that much. If you know how to play Vladimir, you'll um you'll you'll be okay. The air dragon will be coming up first. All right. All right. So he either helped on that uh, Gromp or he just collected the Q stack. So I presume he did actually help. Hmm. I don't mind taking free damage. Because the thing is, I am a regener, so... I will eventually just get back to really high health. Free. Uh, okay, good. And he went D-Blade as well. He couldn't E because he would go into tower. Alright, then I've got the new ability, the new E. This is going to take me a while to get used to because you actually charge it somewhat. So you do this thing, and then BAM! That looks pretty cool, I'll be honest. Alright. Try and last it as well as we can. Ooh. I did take a lot of damage then, though. I don't know if Vladimir is stronger now in early game or late game. But this will be the risk of playing a new champion. It always is. Good damage. Oh, I should have let go of that earlier. Alright, so the, th and the annoying point of Yasuo is he's so quick moving. For a champion like Vladimir who's quite clunky just by initial design it's going to be kind of hard to stay on him oh, that's not good I don't know why we have Zerus support okay that's not bad but we do okay hopefully Lee Sin can get something that would be great okay that Lee Sin did that very slowly like he flashed and then didn't actually auto attack Uh, every 20 points points of health, let me get once a yeah. I'm just trying to see. Uh, oh, that's not good at all. The Mumu should not be beating Elisa in the early game. I'm too slow at that, okay. So these episodes that are probably going to come out in the next couple of weeks of the new champion, you guys will literally be watching me learn a new champion. Pretty much. And the best way to learn a champion is simply play said champion. Damn. Okay. So I want to go back to get the revolver still, because you go revolver... Uh... I think it's that one. That's the good one. Cool. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Oh, that health. Don't go greedy. Don't go greedy. Okay, he's gone back. Okay, 
Let's just push it. I really like that E. It's different to the old one. Oh, he was just roaming. Okay. Hmm. Wait, they're doing dragon? Alright, so air dragon. I don't even remember what air dragon does. What does air dragon do? Uh, oh. Nice kill. Hmm. I don't know where Yasuo's gone, but he did TP. I can't really TP right now. If he doesn't get anything for it. Like, I don't know why you TP down at this stage as a top laner. Like, he's not even level 6. I wouldn't have done that teleport pretty much on any champion. So he's now not got teleport, which is cool. Because that means I can go back. Basically get a free buy. Yeah, they really wanted that early dragon. Dragons are going to be in a weird state of the game at the moment. Because people don't exactly know what each dragon is worth. So people will just kind of fight for every single dragon and be like, well, No, they can't get the dragon. So it will create more fighting potential. Oh yeah, the really stupid change. So there are some changes that I think are really stupid. One being that everybody can see when a buff is coming up. I, I don't know why you would do that. Like, if, if you didn't know, every single person on the map can see when red, blue, or, when red or blue buff for each team comes up a minute before it comes up. Yeah, the uh, Xerath support isn't really working. Um, I can't say I'm not surprised, but yeah. Okay, Ari also used TP. So they are really desperate to get ahead early, it seems. Um... Which I guess we do have a strong late game with Viga Vlad. Because I, th I think Vladimir is still strong in the late game. Hmm. I got him. Wait. No way! closer than I thought. I was like, wait, this guy's 100% dead and he started regening. I was like, wait. No, no. <laughs> Never underestimate the power of auto attacks, by the way. So many people die because they choose not to auto. I would have been dead if I didn't auto him because that auto killed him. But yeah. Oh, that was closer than I wanted it to be. I thought he would have died from the Hemo Plague, but he just didn't. Oh, what's up, dude? That damage, though. Hmm. Might be dead. I don't know. If he had ultimate, I'd be dead, but he didn't ult. That's cool, I guess. Um, his next transfusion was increased. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha! I lived! All right. They're just giving me kills. Just gotta dodge this. There we go. I think I'm starting to get this. He's still Vlad in the end of the day. Oh. He should be dead. Just W and kick him. Just W. Oh god, this Lee Sin is not good. Yeah. Okay, thank god he hit that. Jesus. Woo! Alright, uh, do I want to go pro belt? Pro belt seems really good. Like, it gives me health, it gives me AP, and it gives me that dash. Dash towards a no... Yeah, I, I'm i gonna do that. Like, I don't know. It could be terrible. I'm just building it because it's new. Don't do this. Like, don't just build things because it's new. I'm doing it just to see how good it is, basically. There we go. Oh, that didn't get stun off? Damn. But yeah, the Viger... I don't know. He's farming okay. Oh, he's building the wrong item. Oh, uh, read patch notes. 
So Chalice, oh, Athene's is not a mid laner item anymore, pretty much, because it grants shields. What mid laner wants to grant a shield? Like, you want to go aggro in mid lane, not grant shields. So, uh, I don't think he's read the patch notes completely. Like, usually some patch notes you can get away with not reading because most patches, they do tiny little updates. This is the mid-season patch. It is the biggest patch of the season. So I would definitely be recommending to be watching. Hmm. Good damage, but I'd like if you died. Okay, nice bot lane. I'm going to be careful of like an all in here. I say oh. Not bad. I like applying pressure. Yeah, Leeson, I just was thinking but to myself then. Leeson was walking into death, but okay. Okay, I again need to be a bit careful cuz he's probably going to TP and there could be an Ari coming up. Catching up with CS2 because I was really behind. Alright. I don't know if the pro. Like, I used pro about it. It went off cooldown, but it just didn't TP me anywhere. I don't know the range of it. Hmm. Bot lane seems very up and down. Well, Lucian's actually on five kills. I did not notice. Okay. If he's is he AP? Okay, AP and Mumu, he shouldn't really do anything in later. Is he okay? Oh okay. This is the point that I will say, like, if you're just an average player, don't play champions you don't know. Like, the Viger, he picked Viger because I think I said he's strong at the moment. I wouldn't just do that. Here, I'm coming. Alright, I get double. I'll take it. I got 1,600 gold. Um... What else is new? Hextech items. Revolver. Yeah, we got that already. Drake's in one minute. We don't know. Oh, wait. Is that Earth? I think Earth's the not very good one, is it? Yeah, I don't, I don't think Earth's the good one. Pretty sure. Ah, my Q didn't come up quick enough. If my Q came up quick enough, I probably would have killed him. I was kind of fighting that a little bit too distracted, I think. That was my bad. All right, we'll do this and this. And that. Yeah, oh, that was stupid of me. I was thinking of items when I was actually fighting him. Probably should pay attention to the actual fight that's going on. Um, but yeah. Yeah, he built that. Hmm. See, up to 100% healing or shielding another ally. You don't want to do that as a Viger. Hmm. But I'm not going to say anything because I don't like saying things when I'm on a smurf. Alright. Mistake. Big, well, that was a big mistake of this game. Just dying like that. But yeah, this seems not very... Whoa, what the hell? What, the, what does that mean? Dash forward to unleash a no... Oh, right. The damage, yeah. I was like thinking, can you dash that far? All right, let's kill this guy. Hmm. His damage has gone up. How is Viger dying so much? Okay, I need my ult. I'm dead. Ooh. I'm not dead. Okay, let's regen a bit and then go for the kill. Oh. 
Hextech belt works good in that aspect. Straight into him. Okay. This is fun. Like, I love getting used to new things. It's taking a little while, but... Pretty sure the next time I'll play Vlad, I'll be pretty good from the get-go. So, yeah. No, it's fun. I don't know how strong he is, though. It's hard to gauge, obviously, just off one match. You can't gauge off one match how strong a champion's going to be, but... You can get kind of a rough idea. They weren't looking. He's dead again. Yeah, I just don't think this guy plays Viger. Again, big tip to you guys at home. An average player, like if you're not doing YouTube series to entertain people, don't just randomly play a champ you've never played before. It's usually a bad idea. Uh, just run away, please. I don't really want to fight them without ultimate. No, 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 no. You're not looking at the mini-map. Oh, that's just basic mistake. But he, like, he got away and then went back in for some reason. Who knows why. Yeah, I'll go back. He might be looking for the kill. <clears throat> yeah, he was. Right, so... Yeah, okay, Lee Sun's gone damage -y. It would be good if he goes tank, because we don't really need his damage. If Vayne, if we can protect Vayne, then we're all good. Uh, we're going the Riley. I'm going to wait. Usually you don't want to wait for this amount of gold in the early game, but... We're gonna. He should probably just go back. I wonder if this Viger knows that he gets his AP from hitting champions nowadays. Good cage. He's good for the kill. Oh, where was the... Mm. They keep suiciding. Team? No, that was your fault, my friend. We can fight him. Thank you. Can we get anything? No. Whoa! That damage. Boom! Oh, I didn't die? Damn. She should have auto-attacked the Lucian because the Ari was 100% dead from my ultimate. What killed me though? Like I got a, there was like a sudden burst of damage, or it felt like it. Um, but yeah, I should have used the hextech belt to kind of avoid the damage, but still learning. Hopefully, the Leeson goes tanky. Um, Zareth is just going AP. Oh god, this Viger, no. Okay, so I just like I, I'm not flaming the guy, but this guy's making a lot of mistakes, and you know this series is all about pointing out mistakes so you guys don't make them yourself. So, firstly, he went the wrong item in mid lane, and I know it's day one of the patch, so we'll forgive him a little bit for that. <clears throat> he went the wrong item. I think he picked a champion that he just doesn't play, Viger, he's never played him before. But then now he's going Rower. You're starting to build Rower at 19 minutes into the game. It takes 10 minutes for it to stack. That is just... You're gonna wait, it's going to be way too far into the game for that to be actually effective. So, I don't know. That's kind of weird. Right, I got TP one minute. TP one minute. He's dead again. He shouldn't be dying to a 1... Oh, it's not a 1v1, okay. Still, it is a bit worrying that he's dying quite often. Does that really not... Stop dying! Why are they dying so much? So I'm pretty sure the E... I don't know if we're gonna win this one. 
They keep just suiciding. <sighs> I don't know what they're doing. Oh, I might have died, killed myself. That was so dumb. That was really dumb by me. I, I'm not thinking straight. Kill him? No? Okay. For us to win this game, basically suiciding needs to stop. You know, including me, I've just died. I've died twice this game when it was just dumb. Just then and earlier in the game when I was like thinking about items too much. Um, but the Viger needs to just like seven deaths. Ugh, not good. Lee Sin again seven. He's hopefully going to go tanky now. Okay, we get another dragon. Which one is this one? This is the Ocean, Ocean Drake? Oh, Cloud. No, wait. I think this is the movement speed one. Okay, the E works in kind of like a... Um, I'm just going to say... I'm just going to ask him just to see if he knows. Okay. Let's push top lane. Let's get in the middle. Because it shoots out like a bolt. So it just hits whatever is first. It doesn't go like the whole circle. Like, well, I guess the old one kind of did and kind of didn't. But Anyway, let's get the tower. That's good. Some global gold. Pretty sure you get more gold. For, yeah, you get more gold for killing the tower locally nowadays. Like, I just got 300 gold for that. That's basically a kill. That's pretty big. Uh, let's go back, though. What do I want to build? Because I think I need to do damage in order for us to win this game. Because I don't have the biggest confidence in the rest of the team. Um, so we're going to go the haunting guys into Leandre. Just for that damage. Well, we could easily kill these right now. They're actually really squishy. Can we? I killed the Lucian. My death for Lucian is completely worth it because he's the really fed one on the enemy team. As long as they continue to do okay in the fight, which we win the fight. I am happy. That is literally my job. And that's sometimes what you have to do as a top player, as a jungler, is you've got to identify what the win condition is. It's like, okay, so my death, what is worth my death? My death is worth their 12 kill Lucian. 100% of the time. So what am I going to do every single team fight? I'm at least going to stop him doing damage as much as I can. So I'm just going to go straight for him. Beamline it for him. Apparently we're doing Baron. I don't know how I feel about that, but yeah. So majority magic damage actually killed me then. I'm just hovering the TP if I need to TP. Nope. If I don't need to, I won't. Okay, that's a good that's a good mix. That's a good team fight. That's a good uh, change to the game. Um, I used the Hextech belt thing uh, to get a little bit closer to him and deal a little bit more damage. It I don't know how effective it is though, because what it's only well it's it's actually two hundred damage. It's actually pretty good. I do like this item. I just think that that you're not really building it entirely for the dash. She should not go for the one on one kill on that. But yeah, it's not a bad item. Something on like Anivia, um, I'm not Anivia, Annie, Ari, it's going to be pretty damn good on. One change I really wish that they did implement into Vladimir though is the ability to cancel. Um, the ability to cancel your W. I think that would be great. It would be a quality of life change. So you're not always just stuck. I'm just TPing straight away because they are about to get flanked by the Ari. Can we kill them?
There we go. Nice. Create them team fights. Oh wow, nice. Don't die to him though, please. He shouldn't. Okay, there's a pink ward in there. <sighs> Let's get this tower and then leave. All right, that's a good, another good team fight. So two in a row now. If he stops him, that would be fun. Nice. He probably was looking for the kill there too. All right. So we we bought a bit of magic resist basically just to help us out. <laughs> okay, let's go for the kill. Bait him in. Oh, <laughs> you exploded. One minute away from TP, um, from Dragon, sorry. So I'm going to push it like mad. All right, so this game's taken a turn, which was hard, but stopping the suiciding obviously helped. And me but just beamlining it for their really fed Lucian. Pretty much our win condition this game. But yeah, I don't know. The Vladimir change is interesting. Um... Some aspects is a buff, some aspects is a nerf. Okay, that's pushing, so now I can rejoin my team with knowing that's pushing, which is cool. He does have more CS than me, but again, I don't really care. Like, he's got- he's been involved in five kills, I've been involved in 18. More than triple, so... I'm completely fine. Their jungler is top lane when Dragon is up in 30 seconds. That's pretty good. Ooh, nice damage. The only thing I kind of miss on the Vladimir, though, is... Oh my god, that combo! Okay, I'm getting used to this. I like this a lot. This is fun. Alright, cool. <laughs> the, the hex spell into, like, the E is just really strong. Ow, baby. I think we won the game. Nice. There was definitely a stage in this game that I was like, this is going to be a loss. But I think we've turned it. No, 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 Vayne. Where are you going? He's doing it. Do this. Where are you going? Where's our AD carry going? The hell? Why did she just leave? That was weird. Ah, nice. I would say, Zareth, although he's not a support pick, he's actually doing very well for himself. So I presume he's just somebody that wanted to play the new Zareth. I get that. There's, there's nothing really wrong with that, but it's just not really optimal. Also, they nerfed uh, Blue Trinket. It's now 99 seconds at max rank that the cooldown will be. So I think Yellow Trinket is backed, pretty much. Oh, it's worth getting rid of their AP Assassin. Oh, I've got hiccups. Mage supports are so broken. It's the mage patch, baby. Mages are back. Damn. If someone did a little bit of damage, you would have been dead. Maybe. I'm leaving. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go top lane. Alright, so yeah, that's a good game. Um, I'd say Vladimir, again, it's hard to judge it off one game. I'd say he's fun. I'd say if you liked Vladimir before, you'd still like him. I just think he's he's harder to, harder to play than he used to be. No doubt in that, because his E's different. Like... That, yeah, that's cool. Um, his E is different, which is, again, it's a situational E. Um, I'd say there's going to be situations that sometimes it could screw you over. But I think it's okay. So there you go. There's the game. Um, I'm happy we won that game because there were there was a stage that I think we was going to lose. Uh, but then we started a team fight and then it started to go a lot better. Um, but anyway, let's go into the outro. See how much LP we gained and see how much damage we did. It'd be interesting to actually see how much damage we did because obviously I am an AoE champion. 
Uh, so I got a solid S. Yeah, Zerith played very well. I'm actually going to honor this guy. I think he deserves it. It's not really a great support pick, I'll be honest. I think he's still a mid laner, but he he did really good. So we got a solid S. We got 25 LP. We got 9, 5, 14. And damage done. We did the second most. Zerith did the most. Support Zerith did the most. I'm going to give this guy an honor to being helpful. He was helpful to win the game. Lee Sin had a rough game, there's no denying that, and I think both the Viger and the Vayne did a little bit too. The Vayne started to pick it up into the later game though. Viger definitely had a rough one though. Uh, but that's going to do it for today's episode. Again, this was a sponsored video, so thank you very much. It will be linked in the description if you want to go check that out, willowfair.com. Uh, so yeah, throw a like on it if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.